Hi, I'm Dave from Special Fork, and today I'm going to show you how to make tilapia with a cucumber radish relish. This recipe serves four, and you should be able to get the prep work done and cook it in under 20 minutes. The other great thing is that it uses tilapia, which is a nice and expensive fish. So I'm going to start off to save some time just heating up, heating up the pan while I bring together the relish ingredients. So the relish is composed of cucumber. I've got some radish, some vegetable oil, tarragon vinegar, got a little bit of dried tarragon, some sugar, and some salt. I'm just going to mix these together until it's combined, and then I'm going to set it aside while I cook the fish. All right. Okay, so the pan is nice and hot, and so I'm going to add in some butter. And I've already salted and peppered the fish. I'm going to cook them over medium-high heat. Uh, and one of the important things when you get the fish in the pan is that you don't crowd it, uh, because if you do, the fish is going to uh, it's going to steam as opposed to uh, fry. So just wait a little bit until this butter melts. And one thing you can do is just kind of move it around to help it coat it nicely. Let's just melt it down a little bit more. Okay. All right, so it looks good. So again, we're going to add the fish. Go. And see how I'm not going to crowd it. You know, the funny thing about uh, tilapia is that um, about a year ago, I was in the supermarket and tilapia was on sale, uh, but I didn't know what to do with it. And that's where we came up with the idea for Special Fork. The Special Fork is a recipe site that you can access in the supermarket on your iPhone, Blackberry, or Android smartphone to get our 30-minute professionally developed recipes. We're going to be launching soon, so stay tuned. Okay, so the fish is done, and the way to tell is that it should flake easily. There we go, just like that. And so all we have left to do now is plate. So you want to be careful when you pull it out that you get it out in one piece. There we go, just like that. Make sure that heats off. And we're just going to add some of this great relish on top. Time to eat. For more recipes and ideas, check us out at specialforkblog.com.